Hi, I would like to show you Vermin Phoenix tree under the water. I want to start this open water swimming activity. I have Melin heart rate monitor. Now I'm diving and we can see that heart rate data is still coming to the watch. It's 110. I just finished one kilometer swimming. This is why heart rate is 100 and above 105. Now I switched on the light and you can see how it looks like under the water with lights, with backlight. Our trade is going down. Now I started the activity, it's not in the water and now I am diving. It's how it's under the water. You can see time, some stroke information and heart rate. And uh, now I am trying to push myself with legs and heart rate is going up and we will see that uh, when Myolink heart rate monitor and Phoenix 3 on the same wrist the heart rate signal goes well under the water. It started from 90 something and now it's already 115 and it will go up around 120. Now it's 120. Uh, I want to show you altimeter how it works under the water. It's not, it uh, looks fun. Before it shows seven, around 70 meters. But under the water it dramatically goes down, minus 180, minus 200 something. When it's very fast it's returned back to 66 meters. Now I'm diving again. It's again minus something. Oh, I got some notification about my heart rate. Okay. I'm diving again. Oh no, and uh, now it quickly goes up when I go above the water. Okay, I'm going to try to dive again. We can see it's 71 meters and minimum minus 643. So when I dive, when I was diving for a few meters. Now it goes down, minus 17, minus 100, minus 270, minus 300. This uh, proved that altimeter based on barometer. Now I'm trying to dive with barometer. But somehow it doesn't change really. Maybe it works slowly, not so fast as altimeter. But from this picture you can see that max current pressure is 766 and maximum was 810. 810 it's most probably when I was something like 3 meters under the water. I will try to dive again with barometer. Now it's under the water. But still it's show the same value. 